Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with my first live action gameplay here for you guys today on the DLC map Harvest. Um, my team in the playlist Capture the Flag got matched up against an enemy party of five players who were very, very good. And the outcome was a game not only intense, but very noteworthy in terms of um, pushing and just teamwork in general, doing very well with communication and teamwork. So I know some of you guys have been asking how, how does that look in an actual game. So hopefully this film will help you understand. So when my face or camera disappears out of the corner of the screen, you'll be hearing the live commentary from my, not only myself, but my teammates while we were actually playing the game. And I'll pause the film and my face will come back on the screen. I'll share a few thoughts with you as the film progresses. But for now, let's jump straight into the gameplay. I want everybody to shoot. I want everybody to shoot what I shoot because if I die, it's your all's fault. Okay. Well, against against <laughs> these guys, you may be dying quite a bit. Oh, dude, JFK oh, the blade. Raven, Raven, everybody else has you muted. Capture the flag. Yeah, they actually do. Okay, we need to get our Warthog up on the right. That's how it's, like, we have to get that up. They're going to charge straight to our base with that. I'm going to try to get these. Wow, hard let shield noob. Come on, Delphius. Nice snipe. Got him, Del. I'm pushing straight to their base. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea. Good idea, if you can pull it, run straight back up the high ramp. Spawning over on the They're all over, they're all over the base, three over their base. Okay, so right here I need to explain a very key concept behind why that rush failed and I died while three guys were in their base. So visualize this in your mind. Okay, so you have the center of the map, goes right here. You have their side of the map, right behind this red picture that's behind me. That's their side of the map. Then you have our side of the map, okay? So... When we push up to the center, if we kill them all off in the center area, all four of them respawn on their side. So if we push up, we're going to meet them again and have to kill them all four off again at their base. That's what just happened there in the film. We kill them all off in the center, they respawn at their base, I rushed forward and met three of them. So how do you cap a flag in the situation? Well, there's two ways. One is to put, go ahead and push through to their base and kill them all far off again, which is hard, but often happens. But another more sneaky way to do it, and we'll see us try this in the Warthog a few times, but we end up going to the side, um, is to lure them to the center of the map and then go around the center to their base, pull the flag towards the center, kill them all four off in the center, and then you have the flag in the center with them all four dead and respawning behind you, and then you run it back to your base. So that's just an insight into how flag works. They're sniping in their base. I'm going to go back to our base and try to defend. Hold on. A little nice nade. Good job, Del. Uh. Sniper pulled back to their base. Wow, okay. She's right above me. Right above Delphius. Look at Delphius. Nice right snipe. I'm gonna try to grab that flag, but I don't think this is gonna work. This is not gonna work. If you can, one above you. I killed one, but they're all over me, man. We need to all push into their base at once. Help Delphius, guys. You're getting get naded, man. Oh, darn it. I got wad naded. Actually, he just placed one perfect nade to you, that I could tell. Man, I saw my Adams disintegrate. 
Nice snipe, holy crud. Good shot there, Gib. One shot top middle, one shot top middle. I got him, I got him, I got him. Here's a great and simple way to start out with your callouts. When you die to an enemy player and you put many shots into a player like just happened on my screen, you need to call out the enemy's location. So I said top middle. And as you can see, the white plus five symbol in the very center of your screen right now, that means I just got an assist, five points, which means my teammate heard my call and cleaned up that kill. Wow, okay, we need to push their base. I think we need to get all our vehicles going. I'm gonna get a Warthog. I'm gonna get a Warthog. Uh Toby, can you can you gun this? Toby, can you gun this? Oh wow. Oh wow, sorry. Just pause here and a little FYI, I will be speeding up or fast forwarding through all the remaining Warthog portions of the film because every single charge we go through in the Warthog does not help the game in any significant way. We don't end up grabbing the flag or getting to their base or pushing. The whole purpose is to get in the Warthog, go around top center where they're hopefully all four of them have pushed to top center, go around that to their base and grab the flag and push it to top center, catching them by surprise. But that never ends up happening during this film. So I'll be speeding up or fast forwarding through those Warthog sections. Our base. I'm gonna get to grab their flag, I'm gonna grab their flag, pull on. Dude, okay, there's guys a guy camping with a shotgun on their base. How is that guy getting away? Okay, we all need to push left right now. I killed double, I two of them, two dead, two dead right now. We need we need a conversion these guys, wow. Come on you guys. Okay, I'm grabbing their flag, grabbing the flag. I'm pushing to you guys, pushing to you guys, help. I need help. I pushed. The, I pulled the fire to the left side of their base. Hello. I pushed the fire to the left side of the base. Please grab that. Someone, someone, grab it. Go, go, go. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right, right there, right there, guys. We we got the flag out of the base. Let's pull it out. Guys, they have a flag, they have a flag. We need to go back to, we need to get to that. Enemy flag taken. Yeah. We're good, turn around, everybody just send that flag. It's our interest, go high side. And nade it, nade it, please nade that flag. We're all there. Protect your flag. Protect your flag. Kill their carrier. I can't kill him. Everyone defend this. Get a counter tap. Someone sprint. Someone sprint straight for it. Sprint. I'm going for it. I'm going for it right now. I'm going for it right now. Counter tap. Someone sprint. Rockets. Rockets are up. I pulled pull it. I pulled it straight out of their base, but I didn't get very far. Here with the tag. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh shit! With the shield. We need to stop. Okay. Everyone. What was that? One shot, both one shots down there, both one shots down there. I have the rockets, I have the rockets, I have four rockets right now. Two crouching. They're in their base, three crouching in their base right now. 
I killed one. Okay, I killed two. I killed two. Kill this guy, kill this guy. Guys, they need help inside their base. I killed him, I killed him. Double kill, Gale, grab their flag, grab their flag. Hold their flag out. God damn it. Enemy flag. Hey, you're running ghost again. Someone pull up the ghost. In case you're great at ghost. Right here, just please realize that HC Raven Rages is muted for me and many other people in the game because he does rage constantly over every death. And it's just his callouts and overall communication inside the game is not really worth listening to because it brings you down more than it builds you up. Um, it's really unfortunate because he's a really good player. He ends up getting 30 kills in this game and 7 deaths. Very impressive, better than any of us. And I end up assisting him like 10 times. I know there's one time where he threw a grenade and he got, got a double kill and I assisted both of his kills. If you think uh, what Delphys was complaining about the shield, you know, holy beep, the shield, you know, or whatever, uh, that's that's minor compared to what HC Raven Rages says in a game. Man, I pulled their flag out. They're going straight into our base. Maybe. Maybe not. Good team shot. He's on the right. We need to keep the pressure on a little bit more. Nice job, Toby. Stay top mid. Well, that's what, that's what I'm going top for. We need to get up it's there. We need to shoot up at their high opening. High yeah, opening. I know, I know. There are three of them there. I killed one, I killed one. Three there. Yeah, they're, they're still there, man. Ooh. They're high opening. Kill them off, we kill them off, let's go. Right. On the right side. I killed I've killed one of them. Go, 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 go. Push. We gotta get this. Guys in their base one shot to the left, on the left side, guys. We need to push to the base right now. Help, need help, need help. Got, wow. Are we gonna go to the sides or through the top? Because I thought we were going through the top. All I'm trying to mention here to my teammates is the pattern I noticed of me pushing straight into the enemy base after we got a few of them dead and me dying and realizing that I pushed alone and none of my teammates pushed with me. So all I'm trying to mention here is, hey, you know, are we going together through the middle or the sides or what are we going to do together and not alone here so we can not die alone and we can make a push that's worthwhile. Okay, I think our base is okay. We need to keep that pressure on though. No, it's it's not, it's not Oh I know. We need to we need to pick up a hog and flank them. Yeah. Go right in their back hallway. So I'm gonna grab there. a hog. Hold on, I'll grab a hog. I'm gonna grab it. Hold on. I really, well, Tad, can you grab those rockets on the left? We need to get those rockets on the left. I think those rockets are going to be key to winning this game. Oh, darn it, man. We're on our base, guys. Holy shit. GFK the blade. This guy rockets? 
So as you just were able to observe in that little clip there, I saw rockets come up on my HUD, but I didn't hear anyone fire them. So I'm going to assume that the enemy player who picked them up died. And sure enough, he did. And as you can see on your screen right now, uh, my teammate Raven Rages has the rockets in his possession right now. He actually picked them up just outside the doorway that we just ran through. And this is going to be critical in the push we go for her right here. Yeah, yeah, it did. Nice rocket. We need to push. We need to push. Hey, everyone push left. Everyone push on the left side. Let's push. Let's push this left stairway. Let's push this left stairway. Like, come on. They're all. They're just camping over here on their base. Now I want you to pause and notice here how it just takes some split-second timing and coherent vocal direction for a team to cap a flag. It doesn't necessarily have to be calling out exactly what is happening wherever it's happening. Maybe even just saying, hey, I'm going to push this side. Can you push with me? Even just that simple communication can cap flags. And I just wanted to point that out in this desirable scenario that is about to happen. Go, 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 look at the base, look at the base. Kill one, kill one. Push, 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 that's it, push. We got it, we got it, we got it, got it, okay. Go, 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 pull, 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 high, go high. Nice job, Ted. I'm on, I'm on Keith, Keith's with me. Let's go, brother. Come on, come through. Uh, the two on the right, two on the right, headed to our base. Two on the right, headed to our base right now. They're on the very right. Run. Let's defend, let's defend. Beautiful run. Look on our right side, guys. Look on our right side right now. On C, on Charlie, on Charlie. One our back, our back six right now. Coming up to the flag. Don't turtle too much. We got one here. They're on a high ramp, they're on a high ramp. Tad, stay alive. Charlie, Charlie. Tad, you're gonna have to stay alive. We need to go back to our base. Coming in our high hole. Make a rush for their flag now. I'm going. I'm going for the flag right now. I'm going for the flag right now. Now this is an unfortunate but kind of lucky scenario that we get into here. All four enemy players have pushed up after we grab their flag. They're chasing us all back to our base. We cap the flag and get the point, but they start killing us off at our base. Now. Here's what you can do. You can either spawn in the middle of the map and then try to run all the way back to your base and defend your flag, or one of you can run and grab the enemy flag while they're all four distracted at your base and start pulling to the center of the map, which is what we do. And this is very good timing because I communicated that I was doing that. I was going for the enemy flag. My teammates can focus on defending our flag, and I can try to pull the flag back to our base. Now. I would like to also point out that there's an enemy player behind me, and that's an unfortunate snag in this scenario. If this enemy player behind me had killed me, this whole scenario that was about to play out wouldn't have happened. Okay, So it's key that you get those kills, watch your radar, and use your nades effectively. They're pulling high. I'm going for the flag right now. Two, two alive on the flag. Protect your flag. Two more. Going for the flag. I'm going for the flag. I have their flag, I have their flag. Beer, I'm pulling to you. Beer, I'm pulling to you. I'm pulling the flag. Keep coming. I'm, I'm keep coming, go high. I'm dropping, I'm dropping. I, I'm about to make it all the way to our, their base. I may get killed. One shot in that hole. Keep going, guys. He's behind me. He's behind me, I need help. One shot chasing. One chasing, one shot. Hey, one shot. Yeah. There's another guy, we need to help our flag carrier. We're good. Well, we need to get back to our base right now. There you go. We need to get back to our base. Okay, well, right, let's let, reset that flag. Reset that flag first. They're on the flag. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. He can't reset shit. It's absolutely crucial, the decision-making that I make right here. Instead of trying to charge into our base and get a touch on our flag or try to cap our flag, I'm weak. My shield, I have no shields right now, or close to none, because I got surprised by an enemy player. So, as you just heard Delphia say on the mic, they can't reset beep. What that means is that they have 20, we have 24 seconds to reset our flag. 
so there's no way they're going to reset it. So we can we can hang back, let our shields regenerate, as I am doing right now on, on my screen, wait for them to make the mistake, and they do, and then we can run in, get the flag, and just plant it right in our zone. There's no need to rush this. We're, we are in control of our base for the most part. And now, everyone go back to our base. Everyone... Coming right side. Double kill, double kill. I got flag. Get the touch. In this final portion, I'm just going to run through the KDs, or kill-death ratios, of the enemy players, just to show you what type of team we were stacked up against. About 2.0. About 2.0 as well. Almost 2.0. Definitely about 20,000 more kills than I have. Just 2,000 positive, an average KD. And 9,000 positive. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that intense Capture the Flag gameplay. I hope it gave you some insight into how you work. If you like this sort of thing where I slow down the game, explain a few things, and if you like the live in-game commentary as well, um, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, and uh, please like the video. It helps a lot. And I'll see you on the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace, guys.